guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from NoFX Game Crew. How's it going? Uh, so today is actually, um, what is it, January the 30th. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be having a super full moon uh, in Leo as well as a lunar eclipse. So these are, you know, pretty heavy energies that are going on. Um, so this super full moon is um, actually termed the blue moon, uh, you know, like once in a blue moon. Um, now, I had watched a video prior to this, um, and it was an awesome video done by uh, Gregory Scott. So I'll leave the link below, but he was saying a lot of really interesting things in his video. Um, and the neat thing about it is that I was picking up on a lot of this energy in the private readings that I've been doing uh, lately. So those of you who have uh, recently received a, a reading, you'll see that the um, the energy seemed to be flowing from a dark state into, um, you know, a fiery, passionate, creative state. So, yeah, um, and that's kind of what prompted me to um, to watch the video. I don't usually do astronomy, but I do know that it does affect um, our psyche for sure. So, yeah, check that video out if you guys would like. Um, but some of the key points here. Um, the main message that he was saying is to stand in your power to help other people. Um, and don't give up. Opportunities are opening up for you. Okay, so the message that he was trying to relay is that um, be creative, right? And turn your talents, your truths into um, something that can help the community, that something that can help the world, right? So. Uh, shine your light, right? Stand in your power, shine your light, and um, um, use those skills and those talents to help other people. So that actually really hit home for me and it hit me pretty hard. And the reason being is because um, I recently received an email from a subscriber and she was saying that there's a, another channel that is um, another reader uh, that has been cutting me down in their videos and you know I'm I'm human you know just like everybody else I'm not impervious to to rude rudeness and painful comments attacks on me right it, it hurts I carry those things with me especially if it's another reader that's doing this so I just wanted to read her email and I, I do hope that she doesn't mind. Of course, I'm going to keep her, um, you know, her identity private, but um, she channeled a message for me, and I think it's important to read it because I think a lot of people out there can benefit from it. Okay, so it says, Hello, Sherry. I have been following your readings for almost a year now. I'm a subscriber, but I don't usually comment on public forums for personal reasons. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but there is another reader that is slandering you publicly on her channel, so it's a, a feminine. I never asked her who this person was because I don't think I want to know. I'm kind of scared that maybe it was a friend or something. Um, so the reason that I am writing to you is because while I was listening to her, my first instinct was to switch her off. I could feel the energy was not pure, but then Spirit gave me a clear message for you regarding this. and so. Here I am relaying the message. This attack on you is an internal one. Those attacking you are a 3D manifestation of your internal dialogue. Your ego is fighting to keep you small and not step fully into your power at this time. And it's not them that you need to comfort or sorry, confront or defend yourself against, but to stand strong in knowing of who you truly are and all that you become. Listen to the thousands that are in appreciation of your gifts. Oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. Uh, appreciate, 
of your gifts and whew, I might have to pause it. Hold on. Yeah, I had to pause it just a minute. Okay, let's try it again. All right. Um, listen to the thousands that are in appreciation of your gifts and not to the few that try to deny it. These individuals are working through their own karma and dark night of the soul and simply projecting it on you. You have a choice to accept it for what it is. Sorry, for what it is, I think she meant to say. And real, realize it is as something that does not serve you or you can take it personally and use it to work through your own karmic lessons. Either way, it serves in your spiritual growth. Spirit is giving you opportunities to go within to find your strength and power and emerge renewed. Take advantage of these opportunities at this time and it will set you on a new course to enjoy and will open the door to manifesting all your desires. I have followed you for so long because you're a clear channel without all the fluff. I have gained great insight and guidance through your channeling or channeled readings <clears throat> that have helped me immensely on my journey. I hope this message will offer you the same support and guidance on your journey as you offer so many of, in the community. Stay strong. We stand with you. Oh my God, I'm going to cry again. <laughs> we stand with you in the love and the light. With much love, your soul sister. Oh, okay, I'm better. <laughs> So um, I just want you to know, um, to the person that wrote the email, it meant a lot to me, quite obviously, and it came at an absolute perfect time. Um, and so I also just want to show my love and appreciation to all of you out there who have supported me over the past year. Um, this has been an incredible journey for me, and I'm, I feel so much gratitude in my heart. Okay, so let's begin with the um, full moon lunar eclipse reading. So I have my deck here, and I think let's do um, let's do a crossroads reading. Okay, so I think I might want to pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, you can probably just fast forward through this part. Sorry, guys. Okay. Five, two more. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's. I want to pull one card as an overall, um, you know, energy, but I want to be able to read it to you guys. So let me just pull a card from Call It Bear and Read. Okay, so. Um, so that was Wisdom of the Oracle, and this is my deck. Um, so let's begin with the feminine side. Uh, you know what, I think I might want to just give my deck here, my tiny deck, a little shuffle, just in case I want to pull some clarifiers. Okay, maybe we can turn it down just a bit. <clears throat> Don't have to be staring right into Chris Cornell's eyes. All right, here we go. So beginning with the feminine side. So this is the feminine energy that runs this way, and then the masculine energy that runs this way. Um, and you can be feminine or masculine, relate to either side. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever side will you know you resonate with. That that's the side. Um, the message for you. Okay. So um, let's go ahead actually and start with the overall energy, and I'll read the card, and then we'll move into the 
the different aspects. Why? Very nice. And the Master Manifester, that's awesome. Okay, so the Magician is a very, very powerful card. This card represents um, being self-aware. It's the self-conscious mind. So when you are aware of yourself in a moment, you're, you're able to focus and concentrate a lot more. You're, you're empowering your will in order to manifest your dreams, your ideas into reality. So the crown chakra is activated with this card. So you're connecting to, you're using your, your self-conscious mind in order to connect with your super-conscious mind. So the super-conscious is your higher self. Okay, and this is also um, how you connect to, to source, to the collective, right? And you can download ideas and information um, and use those ideas um, in order to manifest. So the person I have on this card is Nikola Tesla. So Nikola Tesla is um, an incredible physicist who, you know, who basically made inventions that have transformed the world. Um, he made the alternating current um, battery. So, um, uh, this, uh, you know, Nikola Tesla, um, a lot of his inspiration and uh, his ideas came as flashes, okay? And these flashes happened when he was in solitude. So, you know, he was able to open his crown chakra and allow this information to be absorbed. And then he would have these visions and immediately he would write the visions down. Okay, so um, what I'm seeing here, since it's the full moon and the message behind the moon was to be a leader, to use, to realize that you have all of the tools available to you to manifest your dreams um, and your ideas into reality. So this is, you know, as an overall energy for both masculine and feminine, it's activation time. Okay, realize that you are very powerful. So this could also mean creating a new reality for yourself. Okay, leaving the past behind, number one, is new beginnings. Okay, and that's, again, it goes along with the full moon. You know, the solar, or the lunar eclipse is cutting away. Um, okay, so let's read this. Uh, where's the book? So number 31, oh, haha, <laughs> that's hilarious, number 31, uh, did I not say January 31st is the lunar eclipse, so that's very cool. Okay, so motives, driving, intentions, the power of knowing the why. So I'm going to read the oracle message. There is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be clear about why you're asking this question, um, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most importantly, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you're clear about it, your intentions will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it, the invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds a potential for growth. So the overall energy, why? Looking for answers, looking at your behavior, seeing how your actions may have led you, you know, to this place, uh, but also looking at other people's actions. Why did they react that way? Why are they acting like that? And, um, you know, in terms of the email that I, I read to you guys, I saw it as, you know, this, this subscriber, this woman, this beautiful soul was holding up a mirror for me to allow me to look at myself. And that's why the email was so touching because, you know, it's so easy to, to believe the stories that people say about you you know, to believe the terrible things that people say about you and to not take it to heart. And so she really saw me that, or showed me that, you know, there are people out there that, that um, do appreciate me and value me. 
So, yeah, I, you know, ask yourself the same question, okay? Um, if there are people, you know, attacking you, um, ask the deep questions. You know, why are they doing this? Why are they behaving this way? And did I do something in the past, you know, that might have triggered this event? And then, you know, make the changes so that you can move forward, right, and put the past behind you. Okay, so for the feminine side, this is how she th views herself. So the Knight of Cups. So she, the feminine aspect is, has her, her heart chakra open. And um, she's wearing her heart on her sleeve. And there's a, you know, this is a card of movement. So um, this is desiring to move forward with a loving relationship. Okay, with love in her heart. Um, and, you know, this, this is how she feels about herself, so this is not necessarily directed at the masculine. Um, I feel, you know, she's giving unconditional love to all, and as a result that, you know, like a magnet, it attracts love back into her life. So, um, this is a longing card, it is longing for commitment, but at the, you know, at the same time, um, there, she's giving unconditional love. Okay, so for the masculine, uh, he got the seven of pentacles. So the masculine energy is in a contemplative phase. Um, it's very similar, you know, to that why question up there, right? Um, he is being forced to pause and reflect on the past. So the Seven of Pentacles is the pregnant pause gestation period, right? So you're waiting for your payoff, you're waiting for your ships to return. So there's a, a wait involved in that. And so the best thing to do during that period is to think about where you made mistakes in the past and so that you don't continue to make those in the future, where you can invest your time more wisely, that kind of thing. So the masculine feels that he is in a pause. And um, this is a very grounded energy, a feeling of success, that, that, that a reward is coming, um, but it's, you know, it's not quite attainable at this second, at this moment. Okay, so how does a feminine feel about herself, or about the masculine? Six of Wands, very nice. So she sees him as... Um, an inspiration. She looks up to him. She sees how other people um, are cheering him on and encouraging him and you know they see they use him as an example that kind of thing. So you see him as a rock star. Um, Juan is also spirituality so this is um, confirmation that you're on the right spiritual path. So you see the masculine as this beautiful star in the sky and you're cheering him on or vice versa he could be cheering her on okay so how does the masculine feel about the feminine the ego so this is uh, the devil uh, so this is a codependent relationship and addiction self-limiting beliefs so something about the feminine is triggering the ma uh, the masculine. Um, you know, this could be what I'm feeling strongly is uh, an addiction of some kind might be holding the masculine back, or or there's maybe something in the past is is triggering his ego. So I'm gonna pull a confirmation. Actually, let's pull three confirmation cards. I already have them shuffled here, so. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Judgment card. So the Seven of Swords in the past position is pointing to um, not being able to trust somebody. It's um, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling like you're being lied to, betrayed. Okay, so these are his thoughts coming from the past, times where um, he's been hurt and, you know, betrayed. So that energy is triggering the ego. And 
So I feel there's a, a you know a blockage here that's coming from the past, and I'm still not sure if the ego is the masculine or the feminine. But this this position is how the masculine feels about the feminine. Now in the present position, we have the Ten of Cups. This is a happily ever after card. Ten is completion. So this is complete harmony, peace within your family unit as well as within rom romantic relationships. Nobody's being triggered. Nobody is acting out to get attention. Um, everything's just beautiful. Okay, so it's an opposite energy of the seven. <clears throat> sorry, the seven of swords over here. This is, you know, people acting out, um, not trusting each other. Whereas this is just beautiful, peaceful harmony. So, you know, um, the uh, ego is the again the opposite of the ten of cups. Um, the ego is a codependent relationship, a karmic relationship. These are, this is a chain stopping him from really fully experiencing the Ten of Cups. And so, and this is a chain to the 3D reality. Okay, now the Ten of Cups is an emotional freedom. There's no chain, it's just unconditional love. So, the future position we have the Grand Awakening card, uh, Judgment. So again, this is a, a card of contemplation. It's reviewing your past. Okay, so there's, there seems to me that the masculine wants to make a decision, right? We've got the Seven of Pentacles over there. It's like thinking about things. Again, you see that thinking about things coming in from the past. Remember those times when things didn't work out, right? I put my trust in somebody and they betrayed me. The future, you know, is judgment. So this is realizing your entire life has just been an illusion. Um, it's just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So you you created all the characters, the plot, everything. And so now you have an opportunity to create a new life. Right? Start from zero. Start all over again. Clean slate. So his ego may be getting in the way and the ego in terms of the whispers in the mind okay or it could be an addiction or something but there in terms of this connection he feels that it's not attainable um, but in the future you know he graduates from the seven of pentacles which is um, a forced weight to the judgment card which is a major arcana and it's a decision to review your life so that you can make choices that are going to produce an outcome that is will benefit everybody. Okay, so um, what does the feminine want to know, want the masculine to know? The solar plexus chakra. So this is strength, power, courage, your will, determination. The first three chakras are where the blockages occur, right? So um, she wants the masculine to know that she is working on her self-confidence. She's working on um, trying to rebuild her power, her courage to do something. So what the heck, let's pull three cards over here. Wow, the devil. Sacral chakra. Divine masculine, yang. Interesting. Okay, so the past position is the ego. Same card over here. Okay, so she is bringing this energy in from the past. So what she wants a masculine to know is that she's been working on her ego. That she has been releasing herself from those chains that are binding her to something in the 3D reality. Again, it could be just self-limiting beliefs, addictions, karmic partners. So she's breaking those ties, but it requires her, uh, it requires a lot of power and strength and courage in order to, to beat that. Now, because the ego is coming in the past, it means that she's done that already. So the sacral chakra is the number two, the solar plexus is three. Okay, so we're going lower down in terms of the levels of the chakra. So the sacral chakra, number two, this is where your emotions are stored. So this is, 
you know, when there's a blockage here, it's, it's saying that, you know, the feminine does not have the ability to express herself emotionally. She's guarded. She is afraid to express herself. Now, if this blockage was cleared, then she would, you know, be free to help people to relate with them, to draw their emotions, you know what I mean? There's, um, yeah, a major blockage that I'm seeing, and it's because of the, the devil card in the past. But she, I feel she's working through her message to the masculine, is that she's working through these blockages because she sees you as her divine counterpart, the divine masculine yang. That's in her future. Um, complete opposite energy of the ego. This is somebody who's truly authentic. Their power, their strength comes from being grounded in their, their own knowing. You know, they, they, um, it's also a, a leader ship type of energy okay so the yang is also um, fire right it's pure masculine energy okay so again we got this moving from darkness into sun darkness into sun the um, grand awakening card is another fire energy judgment okay so there's this explosion of, of creativity, of action, okay, so you, the feminine are working on their blockages. So what does the masculine want the feminine to know? Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very grounded. Yeah, and they're very successful, they're independent, they are mother figures, right? So they are very nurturing, um, caring, um, they are the provider, so they work a nine-to-five job, but also look after the kids at the same time. Everybody's needs are taken care of. And that's how she find, she gets her pleasure from looking after other people, from sharing her seeds, her abundance with all. And so, this is also the 3D queen, the one that you can hold, feel, caress, kiss. So what does he want her to know? He wants her to know possibly that he's becoming open to giving and receiving, or that he wants to, to connect with her in the 3D reality. Let's pull some cards. The Eight of Cups, the High Priest, Nine of Cups. Nice. So the Eight of Cups, we got a progression from the Eight to the Nine. That's so awesome. So the Eight of Cups. The masculine wants a feminine to know that he's moved on from an emotionally abusive or draining situation. The Eight of Cups is leaving eight cups behind. Those eight cups no longer hold any value for you. So this is embarking on a spiritual journey to discover himself again. So he's leaving the past behind. He's moving on from emotional bullshit. And in the present moment, he is being represented as the high priest. Awesome. So the high priest is somebody who has their crown chakra op opened. Again, downloading information very similar to the magician. However, this person streams that information into society. So they're usually a spiritual leader. Or they could be, you know, just a, a light worker that is guiding him. Or he can be embodying this. He, he wants the feminine to know that he is working on his spiritual growth. He embarked on that journey. He's no longer being manipulated by emotions. And he's focusing all of his attention and his, um, you know, growth on spirituality at this time. He understands this journey that we're on as twin flames. So he's really coming into power the future position is the Nine of Cups. So this is the wish granted card, happily, you know, uh, dreams fulfilled. Now he's got the Ten of Cups in his present position over there, right, and how he sees the, the feminine. Um, 
and here we got the nine in the future. So this this happily ever after, this feeling of celebrating love, being surrounded by people that love you, you know, dancing and singing and you know, just awesomeness. That energy is still there with him. He has love in his heart and uh, he's fully awake. And he's making more and more realizations about the ego, about how the ego, you know, controls humanity. So, yeah, what he wants her to know is that he is working on his spiritual growth. He's working on trying to connect with her, possibly in the 3D. Okay, so um, did I mess these up? Okay, so the next is supposed to be the heart space, so that's these two cards. And then this is the relationship, and this is your blockage. Okay, so at the heart for the feminine. So she has the three of pentacles. So this is a feeling of um, a firm foundation being grounded. So she planted a seed of intention and she nurtured it. She you know, put a lot of effort into growing it. And so she's starting to see the payoff um, and she's feeling grounded in her success. She knows that there's more work to do, um, but she's willing to do that. So this is using her talents in order to, mat you know, to create abundance in her life. Um, so at the heart, she feels safe and secure in this connection. And she's working on building, you know, a new life for herself in the 3D reality or a new venture, new career, new something. And that kind of goes along with the whole full moon, right? It, in Leo, it's being a leader, it's showing yourself, um, but also doing what you're meant to be doing. And the Three of Pentacles reflects that energy. When you're truly happy doing what you love, then it isn't work anymore. Yes, okay. They want me to pull some cards. I'll do that. Ah, there you go. Ace of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Six of Cups. How beautiful. So Ace of Pentacles, past position. So we got that seed being planted. Okay, and it grows to the Three of Pentacles. So you were given an opportunity in the past by the universe you were given a gift and you took that seed that opportunity and from it you're you're generating stability and abundance the hangman in the present position is surrendering letting go of control seeing things in a different perspective perspective shift so it's turning the world upside down right so where there was suffering and pain and misery you flip it upside down and you, you see happiness, excitement, celebration. So at the heart of the matter, the feminine is in surrender. She's letting go of control. And she's, you know, really go, moving internally. Um, she realized she can't control the situation. And, you know, the best thing to do is just allow her, the changes to happen in her life. And the future position, we got the Six of Cups. Awesome. So at the heart of the matter, we have the Six of Cups in the future. And this is reunion. So somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. But she holds, you know, very precious memories of this person. And because she's able to surrender in her, her knowing that she is firmly secure and grounded in this connection at the heart, that this energy will come to her, and it does. Hey, at the heart for the masculine is destiny. Awesome. So destiny number, number 10. <clears throat> so the destiny card is the Wheel of Fortune, so it represents good luck 
and good, good fortune, um, the completion of cycles. Okay, but <clears throat> sorry, destiny really points to, um, you know, it's like the clockwork universe. It ticks along. You can't stop it. You know, you set up these these conditions in the past that give it no other option but to turn out this way. So you might as well sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Sorry, I don't know why my voice is doing this. <clears throat> Sorry, probably because I was crying at the beginning of the video. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so the Clockwork Universe. Uh, this is basically saying that, um, you know, there's divine timing at work here. And the best solution, again, is to surrender, allow that change to happen. Um, but destiny is knocking on your door masculines um, there's a sense that you're being you know you're feeling this vibration of change shifting for sure and you can see that change over here right it's you know the, you're in a transition with the contemplation card and judgment and uh, so just know that good luck and good fortune is coming back to you so what the heck ten of swords two of cups Wow, Four of Wands, oh my God. So the Ten of Swords in the past position, this is the dark night of the soul. So this is an ending to feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back. Okay, so at the heart of the matter, you are clearing these negative vibrations, these negative thoughts away. And you're moving on, the Eight of Cups, <clears throat> you're moving on away from that. And at the heart of the matter, you feel true love you know who your twin flame is you you feel your soulmate on a 5d level okay so this is spiritual union is recognizing your your twin flame your soulmate having the heart chakra activated which opens higher levels of consciousness so from that darkness there's fire and passion and love right repeated theme over and over again you know, it's, it seems to me like swords, the devil, these negative energies um, have to do with the mind. But then the heart opens. And you feel that unconditional love. And, and like I said, you, like a magnet, you draw love back into your life. So he understands that this is a divine connection. He can feel it in his heart that it's real, and that the, the pain... A betrayal and darkness is behind him so we got two tens here but what's also cool is we got the four of wands in the future so the four of wands um, I use it in all my decks to confirm a twin flame connection the four of wands fiery uh, so this is um, um, twin flame or soulmate connection or union into the 3d reality so this is a commitment card, okay? And this could be moving in together, engagement, marriages, but they're in the future, this spiritual union is, is, is turning into a 3D union, a spiritual 3D union. It's true love manifested into the 3D. Okay, so how does um, the feminine feel about the relationship with the masculine? Wow, Yin. So when he connects, when she connects with the masculine, and you know, in terms of how she feels about this relationship, she feels that it draws out the best in her. She sees how she is the divine feminine, the goddess of love. Um, but also, this card is about manifestation, right? She's the star gate, she bursts creative ideas into the 3D reality. So he, he inspires her, this relationship inspires her. Um, it opens her up spiritually. It shows her who she is. I love that the Divine Masculine and Feminine are showing up here together in union in the future. Okay, so how does the masculine feel about this relationship? What? The sun. Oh my God. That is so cool. 
Wow, this is pure masculine energy. Feminine, masculine. This is the most positive card in the deck. So, in terms of this relationship, he that it makes him feel like the sun. He he feels free, like a child, innocent, new beginnings, excitement, enthusiasm, running around buck naked like a child. So this card is a, reduces to one, so new beginning there. Um, and yeah, wow. Again, that Leo energy showing itself in the reading. Okay, so what is the Fem feminines um, blockages three swords so it's it's pointing you know kind of to this solar plexus sacral chakra the ego um, she needs to heal her heart and be able to express herself emotionally um, speak her truth um, you know e even if it means that what you have to say might hurt somebody, ultimately you're hurting yourself by by keeping these, you know, negative vibrations inside of your heart. So let me just pull three cards for that. Nice six of wands again. The star card. Nice. Oh my God. Beautiful. So the six of wands past position. This is the same card that the feminine got for how she. Uh, feels about the masculine. All right, so this is feeling like the rock star. So the masculine, when you met him, it, you um, it it you realized that he was a diamond in the rough. You you know one of those once in a lifetime people that you know true love. Um, relationships don't happen very often, right? And it, there's a sense like this overwhelming excitement wow I I have a twin flame you know that kind of thing and being excitement about you know being involved in in this experience so this beautiful vibrant positive energy is coming in from the past and it's that energy that I feel is helping her to heal that broken heart so um, her present position is hope. So this card is your wishes being fulfilled, wish granted. You wish upon a star, your wishes are coming true. So this card offers the feminine hope for the future, that the worst is over now. You've been through the worst of it, and, and now things will get better. And so this card is saying to, to rest, to heal yourself, to surrender. There's nothing you need to do at the moment except for to love yourself and use these spiritual, highly energetic energy to help heal you instead of um, closing yourself off, open up. The future position is heart chakra, right? Oh my God. You know, the difference in the two cards. <clears throat> so here, you know, we have a bandaged heart, and here we have a heart that's wide open. So unconditional love. It's just giving love purely to all. So the Knight of Cups over here is pointing to the fact that the feminine is in a loving space internally, right? Or, or maybe externally. She's giving love to other people, but maybe she's expecting that love to be returned and, you know, when you have an idea of an outcome or expectations, that's when things, um, you know, those karmic lessons come in to teach you not to be like that, not to be attached, right? Be like the, the Divine Feminine, give love unconditionally. So she's still healing her heart. That's her blockage. That's what she needs to overcome. That's her challenge during this full moon full moon period and it works out great your heart chakra opens wide open seriously no, can't really see these sorry guys I'm so OCD 
Okay, so um, what is the masculine's blockage to a swords? Oh my god, this card kept on showing up in the weekly reading that I did. So we're still in this energy. So again, this is pointing to a stoppage on the masculine side, indecisiveness. Now, this is having two choices that have far-reaching consequences. They're life changers, and that's why he can't make that choice. He knows that you are his divine feminine, right? But, um, you know, just by the way it makes him feel inside, there's so much love there and excitement and new beginnings. It's there for him to have, but he just needs to take that step. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay, there you go. Lover's card. What? Ace of Cups. And, oh my God, Crown Chakra. Okay, so Lover's card, past position. Meteor Twin Flame. Again, pointing to the fact that the, the masculine recognizes the feminine as his divine counterpart, his reflection, his mirror. And so this is an activation card. This is feeling passion, deep passion for somebody to the point where you can't stop thinking about that person. It consumes you. Now this card is a card of longing for union. You know, when we come into the world, into the 3D reality, we're split ab apart into two aspects, masculine and feminine. And, you know, we, we spend our entire life feeling that void in our, in our, within ourself and our soul. And so we're always longing for that union to be one again. Now, his present position is the Ace of Cups. So this is um, a new start of love, obviously, but this card comes with conditions. It only shows up when you've fully healed your heart, when you've let go of the past, when you've forgiven yourself, forgiven others. And so he knows that this is at the end of a road, right? This true love, this... Um, happily ever after is there for him but the blockage is him making that decision to actually embark on it so the crown chakra in the future position is like I said before it's it's your connection to the superconscious which is your higher self it's your connection to source and it's your connection to your twin flame so the masculine in order to make this decision this is a mental block, this cognitive dissonance, an inability to move forward because of the mind. You're in a pr it's very similar to Eight of Swords, the prison of the mind. Crown chakra is a clear open gate. The blockage is gone. So Spirit is saying in order to overcome this, this blockage, this desire, is to fucking make that decision. Open your mind. Open your conscious, open your spirit, or open your soul, right, and see the questions why, why, he's asking the question why, right, it's destined, this is meant to be. Okay. Uh, so for the feminine, um, what is the advice from spirit is seven of swords. Wow. So that's the same card that was coming in the past position associated with the, the ego, the devil. Okay. So this is negative thoughts, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, obviously relating to the three of swords there. This is all thoughts, guys. None of it is real. If you choose to believe those thoughts, then you are the one that makes them real, right? And I'm definitely in this vibration right now. My heart is broken. I feel betrayed. I feel stabbed in the back by, you know, another person, another reader, you know, especially a tarot reader. They should, they should know, um, they should understand that we're all here together. You know, we're all here we're, as light workers to help other people. All right, so the advice is to not listen to those voices in your head. Um, so let's see what other advice they have to say. Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, oh, wow, Third Eye Chakra. Okay, so the Queen of Cups, past position. This is um, <clears throat> my sign, I'm a Cancer. 
Um, so if you notice, this person is all emotions, right? There's a green double barred line around it. So green is emotions, right? So all queens um, are water element. Um, and this is a water card, so she's all about the emotions. She's all about showing unconditional love to people. You can knock her down over and over again, but she'll get back up and she'll hug you. Okay, so she is a type of a person that will put herself out there and, you know, and people kind of, <clears throat> sorry, take advantage of, of her kindness, her compassion. Now, she's also psychic, intuitive as well. So we have that third eye chakra opening in the future. So in a, the present position, I'm relating to this card, this cluster so much, you have no idea. The nine of fire is the wounded warrior. This is feeling beaten, knocked down time and time again, and getting back up and continuing to fight. So this is a card of also um, reaching the, the finish line, right? You have this goal, this, this desire, this passion, this, this thing that you wanted to attain, and you've reached the finish line. But now you realize that in order to maintain that success, you have to continue to, to um, perform at that level, right? Because um, it could be taken away from you. So the next card would be the Ten of Wands. And so this is complete exhaustion. This is collapsing from carrying a lot of burdens on your back. So what I'm feeling from this card you know, it's another eye. It's being in the eye of the storm, and here's another eye. And this, the the um, Queen of Cups is intuitive. So this is there's so much inner reflection here. Um, now, the again third eye chakra is your connection to the subconscious mind. Um, so that has a lot to do with the the moon, the full moon, right? It's all about the subconscious. It's um, those things that are hidden in the darkness, um, things your subconscious mind is trying to tell you, and they come up in dreams and meditations. So this is your memories. This is where all of your memories are stored. And so the feminine is going to be going within, guiding, using her heart to guide her to make an intuitive shift from the external world to the internal world and realize that these projections are not your own they are somebody else's projections continue to be love continue to shed love and you know guide your have your decisions guided by the fact that you know by your intuition Okay, so what is the advice for the masculine? It is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is the Ice Queen, but there's also a water element attached to it. She's air and water. So this is somebody who has, you know, a sense of balance over her emotions and her ability to, to communicate and have mental clarity. So she's not someone who is manipulated by emotions, okay? So, um, it's kind of pointing to that ego and the Eight of Cups in the past there. You know, he felt like he was being manipulated by somebody. And I usually see this as a karmic energy because there's no emotional attachment to this whatsoever. Right? She can cut her emotions off in a, a split second. Now, this is the advice from spirit, from the universe, is to, to communicate to see through bullshit, through, see through betrayal, um, and express yourself. Know your truth and stand by your values, right? Um, be unwavering. And it could also be to cut out any karmic relationships. Three of Cups, the Magician again. Wow, throat chakra. And there you go. I knew the throat chakra was going to show up because my throat, you know, yes, I was crying, but still at the same time, I really felt that there was something else going on here. Okay, so the Three of Cups is um, celebrating love. It's two people coming together, creating a third energy, which is love, and then celebrating that. So this could be parties, um, weddings. It's 
people getting together, friends getting together, and just having that energy bubbling up inside of you and, and feeling that love, right? So the advice is to reconnect with people, with your friends, you know, it's a reflection on the past, those times when you were happy, and this could be your tribe, your community, your twin flame community. The present position again is the magician, that's the overall energy of the reading. So the so spirit or source or your higher self is telling you to connect with your higher self, connect with them. And it's through that connection that you re realize how powerful you are, that you can manifest love back into your life. Don't listen to the cruel words that somebody might be speaking about you. Um, so go for it, you know, begin to manifest, but it requires you to your complete and utter concentration and only concentrate on that one thing don't allow anything to get in your way so the future position is the throat chakra communicate your truth right going back to the queen of swords speak your truth do it in a loving way but say the things that need to be said so there you go okay so um, I'm going to pull two cards, and I will read those to you. Should I use the Missing Mermaids? Yeah, let's do that. I always do. So if you haven't subscribed, please do, um, and please do leave a comment as well. I read all the comments, and I appreciate all the likes, the shares. I see some of you guys have my videos and playlists. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I noticed my sub count has gone down, and that's, you know, because I've been doing mostly because I've been working on my book I had to shut myself in my room but it's done for three weeks okay so there it is it's um, pretty proud of that so yeah I, I thank you guys all for your patience but yeah I noticed that my sub count was going down and you know maybe it has to do with that other reader I don't know but um, I want to try and cut this energy out of my life and move on from it all right, so um, one for the feminine first is La Serena, and for the masculine is a certain slant of light. Interesting. Okay, so remember those who have come and passed Loves that lingered but couldn't last. Questions raised but never asked. Lulls the enchanting mermaid song. So why the questions raised but never asked? So what you know what I'm feeling with this card is um, you know it's the day of the dead, right? It's, so this is all about transformations, endings, and that kind of thing, and letting things go, letting the past go. So remember joys from long ago. The six of cups. Friends you know now no longer know dreams you had no time to sow her words are tempting but ring wrong a captivating mermaid prepared for Dila de la Miro uh, the day of the dead it is decked out with tiny skulls and flowers she is a seductive and ench enchanting singing a song that is alluring but dangerous and right away I'm feeling you know that reader who was cutting me down right and that email that I read to you that the, the the subscriber could feel that it wasn't right, right? That the vibration wasn't right. So the meaning or the message is: Do not get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid. Remember to honor loved ones and your past, but do not get swallowed up in memories. Do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future, or you will be doomed to live in the shadows of others. Bear in mind the past shines brighter in your memories <clears throat> than reality ever can. Do not be deceived into falsely remembering what has come before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with a healthy, healthy reverence for the past and optimistic eye on the future is of the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remembrance beguile you. Okay. 
Oh shit, I'm looking in the wrong book. Such a spaz. Okay. So for the masculine energy, this is your message from the universe. From the darkness there emerges illumination deemed divine, factless searching terminated by insight most sublime. Wow. There's that theme again, from darkness to light. From despair and confusion erupts another form of sight, lucidity, all resulting from a certain slant of light. A pensive mermaid lies in her grassy pond, awaiting, waiting for an answer to come to her. A grand light shines above, illuminating her surroundings in a moment of divine insight and understanding. And that kind of points to that sun. And, and also, you know, the grand awakening in the future, you know, there's so many beautiful cards, third eye chakra, crown chakra, all being activated in the future. Um, okay, I forgot where I was. Eliminating, illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion are commonplace in this world. But do not worry. Illumination is coming in the form of a new way of viewing your environment or situation. Some call it divine insight, others enlightenment. Either way, be prepared for a new perspective. A sudden shift in thinking will arise from uncovering of unknown facts, opinions, or desires, again pointing to that why. These new points will help you understand where you are and help you to answer some of the questions that you have gnawing at you for some time. Be prepared though, the illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you don't miss out on the elimination you have been so long waiting for. Okay, so the masculine is looking for answers. He's in contemplation and, and Spirit is saying don't worry, that elimination is coming. So this reading actually made me feel a lot better. You know, we can see so much positive energy coming in the future. Um, so stay hopeful and please um, heal your heart. You, you guys are loved. I do appreciate you so much. All right, peace.